Welcome to Life Devotions. Thank you for joining me today. Jesus lives for me is the title of this devotion. Perhaps we should think about this more often, you know, that the life he lives, he lives for us. You see, he became man so that man, or he, let me say it this way, he became the son of man so that the son of man may become the son of God. You see, God, through Jesus, reconciles us with himself. What a wonderful thing you read about this in Romans chapter 5, verse 8 and 9, I think it is. Amazing verses. And Jesus lives for us at the Father's right hand. Paul says in Colossians 3, verse 4, that we are hidden with Christ in the bosom of the Father, Christ who is our life says that. Christ who is our life. Or it says, in Christ who is our life, when he appears, we will appear with him in glory. Oh, these verses are so glorious. If you meditate on them and begin to see what the Father has given us in Christ, in whom he has made Christ unto us. The life that I live in this body, I mentioned to you yesterday, I live by the faith of the Son of God who loved me and gave himself for me. He says, it's no longer I that live, but Christ that lives in me. So look at this verse here in Hebrews chapter 9, excuse me, Hebrews chapter 7, verse 25. Therefore, he is also able to save to the uttermost those who come to God through him, since he always lives to make intercession for them. He always lives to make intercession for them. Let me read that to you from the Amplified Translation. Oh my goodness, how can we not love this? Listen, he is able to save to the uttermost, completely, perfectly, finally, and for all time and eternity, those who come to God through him, since he's always living to make petition to God and intercede with him and intervene for them. Jesus is living in the presence of the Father, interceding for us that we may live because he lives. Jesus said in John 14, verse 16, when he, the Holy Spirit, the Comforter comes, who will be with you forever, he will show you, he will help you, then you will know that I'm in the Father and you and me and I in you and as I live, you will live also and so forth. Oh, I love these verses there in John 14, verse 16 through verse 20, uh, really through verse 23, which says, and because you love Christ, the Father himself loves you and comes and makes his abode in you. Oh, my goodness. What glorious promises we have in Jesus by which we partake of his divine nature. Next week, I'll talk about this. But here, we need to realize Jesus lives for me. Believe this, Jesus lives for me. And I want to encourage you today. He will never give up on you. So keep coming back to him. Keep humbling your heart before him. Keep humbling your heart before him. And he will lead you into the fullness of the salvation to which you are predestined. He is able to save to the uttermost all of those who come to God through him because he ever lives to intercede for you. Hebrews 7 verse 25. And he will not give up on you. It is God himself who has said, Hebrews 13 verse 5, second part of that verse, I will not in any way fail you, nor give you up, nor leave you without support. I will not I will not, I will not in any degree leave you helpless, nor forsake, nor let you down, nor relax my hold on you, assuredly not. So we can take comfort and are encouraged and confidently and boldly say, the Lord is my helper. I will not be seized with alarm. I will not fear, dread, or be terrified for what can man do to me. I am so grateful through all the years that the Lord hasn't given up on me. And yes, I used to struggle painfully with those fears, 
that he would give up on me and I would grasp a hold of promises where David says in Psalm 138, Lord, I am your handiwork. Do not abandon the work of your hands, but perfect, complete that which concerns me. I would take hold of that scripture and say, Lord, you didn't give up on David. Despite his many failings, he is a witness of your mercy. I want to be a witness of your mercy, of your grace, of your long sufferings, of your abounding goodness and truth. Exodus 34 verse 8, I think. Lord, I, I just want to be a witness of your mercy, Lord. Here I am. Have mercy upon me, a sinner. Oh, Lord, and I would weep before the Lord and weep before the Lord, and I'm so grateful. He's never ever given up on me, but I may live in the light of his countenance, and I'm so grateful that he loves me and that he's never given up on me. And I want to encourage you, he'll never, ever give up on you. The Lord, it says in first, second Corinthians 3, verse 17 and 18, is spirit. And where the spirit of the Lord is, there's liberty, emancipation, freedom from bondage. And all of us, all of us, as with unveiled face beholding, uh, uh, as with unfilled face, because we continue to behold in the Word of God as in a mirror, the glory of the Lord are constantly being transfigured into His very own image in ever-increasing splendor and from one degree of glory to another, for this comes from the Lord who is Spirit." <laughs> Did you know Jesus taught us in John chapter 6 that if we come to him, we'll never hunger again. If we believe in him, we'll never thirst again. He says that in John 6 verse 35. And then he says, look at me in verse 57. As the living Father sent me and I live what you see because of the Father. So he who feeds on me will live because of me. The life Jesus gives is likened to bread. He says, I am the bread of heaven. Whoever feeds on me, whoever feeds on the life I give, will live because of me. The life that I live in this body, I live by the faith of the Son of God who loved me and gave himself for me. And I am so grateful that he never gives up giving me this life. I am so grateful that he always keeps unveiling himself again and again, afresh and anew, and how I long to be made perfect in that life day and night so that in nothing I fall short of his glory. And just, you know, the nakedness of my human nature is exposed. No, I want to be fully clothed with his divine nature. And Jesus said in Revelation to us who've kind of lost our way a bit, he said, listen, if you'll come to me, buy from me, invest, invest your heart, your life into me. I will give you gold purified in the fire. I will give you riches that the world cannot give, satisfaction you can't find in this world. I will give you garments white as snow so that the nudity of your carnal human weak nature is not exposed. And I will anoint your eyes to see what I long to show you, a life more abundantly. Jesus lives for me and he gives his life in me and I worship him who loves me and gave his life for me all day and night. He keeps giving his life. If it wasn't true, folks, I would not be here. I am not living the life that you see in me because of my merits or because of my this or that. No, because of his faithfulness and because of his unfailing mercies that are new every morning. Oh, let us keep singing, great is thy faithfulness. Morning by morning, new mercies I see. All I have need of, thine hand has provided. Amen? Have a good day.